What is the magical people, Mandy the Mage here, and today I'm going to be destroying Valheim as well as my computer with an army of 1,000 necks. This is another installment of my Monster Battle Arena videos, and in these videos we spawn different mobs in the game and make them battle each other for our amusement. In the latest installment, we made all the flying mobs in the game do glorious battle in our closed off arena. But for today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. In today's video, we're going to be pitting various mobs from different biomes against a significant number of necks just to see if necks can really do damage in larger numbers. For those who don't know, necks are one of the easiest mobs to fight in the game, so the goal of today's video is to see if a large army of necks can pose more of a threat to the player and other enemies. So if you guys are ready to watch the carnage, stay tuned, and I'll catch you soon. So here we are at this new dirt arena that I built specifically for this battle. Um, if you notice, if you take a look, it is rather big, and that's just to kind of accommodate for the space that we might need to, uh, to initiate all these fights here. Oh, it does look like a full link spawned in. I don't know what you're doing here, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, so for the format for this video, we're going to be taking different mobs from specific biomes and uh, just spawning in a disgusting amount of necks to fight them and see uh, see what happens from there. Very scientific, I know. Uh, so with that said, we're going to go ahead and get started today. Now, the first thing that kind of piqued my interest about spawning a bunch of necks was to see what would happen if we spawned a bunch of boars to fight them. So let's go ahead and spawn our neck. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off by spawning just 100 neck here. Now, I know in the intro I mentioned 1,000 neck, um, but I realized that kind of once we get over like 300 neck, it starts to turn into a PowerPoint slideshow. So <laughs> we'll save that for the end, um, and I'll probably do some stuff in editing to like maybe speed that up for you guys. But and then we're going to spawn in 100 boars, and then we're going to tame them so that hopefully uh, those guys will aggro each other here. Um, I will use myself as bait in the center. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. You want to come fight? Let's come fight these boars. Right, let's take a look here. Oh, here we go. Now some more of the neck are... All right, now they're really starting to mingle here. So it looks like the neck are actually doing some serious carnage. Um, I can't tell how little their numbers have dwindled, but they just kind of flew through the boars that we threw at them. So let's see if they'll maybe aggro onto the rest of the boars here, hopefully. So, so far I can't really tell who has more numbers. I think it's the boars, but it does look like the necks are pretty aggressive, all things considered. Oh, but it looks like the boars are just running right through them. And uh, with that, it looks like all of the neck have been exterminated here. We do have some boars who I guess are escaping. Um, but they are, for the most part, uh, some pretty good boys, so that kind of gives us a good baseline. I figured the next are probably the weakest enemy in the game, uh, even weaker than boars here. So we're going to go ahead and clean up and then get on to the next battle for today's video here. So for this next round, we have our army of 100 skeletons, and then we're going to go ahead and this time spawn in 100 one star necks. I went ahead and gave the Nexus stars just to see if uh, it would help them fare a little bit better, but it doesn't look like they're faring any better than uh, the no-star counterparts. And <laughs> just like that, the uh, the skeletons have got rid of the Nexus here. Some of these front skeletons, it looks like, did take a little bit of damage, but uh, so far, it is, uh, it, it's not even close. Uh, so that begs the question, what happens if we summon some more Nexus? So now we're going to go ahead and get 150 Nexus here and see if that extra neck power does anything good for us. All right, they were definitely able to hold the line a little bit longer. Um, I do think we had a little bit more skeleton deaths on this side. Um, but before we move on to the next mob, um, I'm going to go ahead and try 200 next. So let's go ahead and get those spawned in. And that is 200 next. So, so far, it looks like it is a numbers game with the next. We have about two skeletons left, one skeleton left, and there he goes. So, it looks like that extra 50 neck actually gave the army here a little bit of an advantage. Um, that plus the fact they were all one star probably also helped. Um, but we're going to go ahead and clear these guys out and get on to the next one. 
All right, now here we have another swamp team. Um, we have about 50 Sirtlings as well as 100 Draugrs. Um, and I think for that, we're going to go ahead and spawn in 300 one star next here. Now let's go ahead and see how this fares. It looks like the necks are running away. Um, which will happen if a bunch of necks are taking damage close to each other. So it's interesting to see that they're not really trying to engage um, with this swamp team. And uh, with that, it looks like we have lost our last neck here. But with that done and over with, we have one more swamp enemy. I'm going to test the necks against here. So we went ahead and got ourselves spawned an abomination here. And against this abomination, we're going to go ahead and summon 100 necks. And they're all going to be one star. Um, so let's go ahead and see. Do they engage? Um, it looks like so far these necks don't really want the smoke. They're kind of running away, which is interesting. Let me see if I can get them uh, a bit more, uh, a bit more engaged, dude. So the Abomination did get some damage done onto him here. I do want to try to kite these necks over to him, but we might go ahead and do that one more time and just spawn the necks on top of them. Because I think if all of these necks provide a concentrated effort all at once, they might be able to take him down. All right, so we have a new Abomination here. We can go ahead and stand directly above him and spawn in our neck here. Yeah, it looks like that ground pound uh, by the Abomination is just a little bit too powerful. So we're going to run that back one more time uh, with a few more necks. I want to see if we can't take down this Abomination here. All right, so we went ahead and spawned in our new Abomination. This time, I think I'm going to leave him in the ground. Um, see if that maybe gives the necks a little bit of an advantage. And then we're going to go ahead and spawn in 200 one-star neck. But let me go ahead and get the Abomination awake. Oh, it looks like they are pretty close. We can just get these other guys woken up here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Now, it seems like when these guys can all get aggroed onto an enemy at once, they're pretty unstoppable. Um, but that seems to be the problem, is that they, uh, you know, they only aggro in sort of chunks here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and clear these guys out and get on to the next set of battles here. So over here we have spawned 150 two-star necks, and then they're gonna be fighting against 50 wolves here. And I only did 50 wolves because I felt like the wolves would just carve right through them. Um, so far it is looking like that's what's happening, uh, but we are seeing them slowly get back into the battle here. And just like that, they have cleaned up the necks here. Now, I think that was another situation of um, maybe the whole group not aggroing at once. So I'm going to go ahead and try to spawn in some more and see if we can't finish off these remaining wolves here. We're just going to spawn them right on that group so they get aggroed right away. Oh, and they were just absolutely destroyed, dude. I'm not even sure too many other wolves died, maybe a couple. So we're going to go ahead and get cleaned up here and get on to the next one. All right, so now we just have 10 fullings and 10 fulling berserkers. Um, and against them, we're going to go ahead and spawn in 100 two-star necks. Mm -hmm. 
so it still was not even uh not even close there was five times more neck than there were fullings and fulling brutes um but it does not look like the the uh, neck can even hang in this league so let's go ahead and reset and get on to the next one uh, so this time around we're just going to do one normal locks and then we're going to do 200 two star necks so i think the neck might actually have a chance this time around So, so far, it just looks like some necks just, like, don't care. They are okay with being bystanders. It is kind of funny to see these guys get pummeled, I'll be honest with you. I don't mind it one bit. But let me see if I can rally these guys up. and easy clap just like that so not even 200 neck i can withstand one normal locks here um, let's go ahead and clean up and i uh, get on to the next set of mobs and now we have our one seeker in here and then we have 100 two star neck oh wow so that was so that was instantly that was instantly i think they just suffocated him uh, let's go ahead and maybe try a one star seeker now And there goes our uh, our one star seeker. Um, now just to kind of finish up the gamut, let's do a two star seeker. See how he holds up. This time we have 152 star. So I think the necks are kind of just goofy. Like he flew right over to them and none of them got aggroed. They're a little bit too chill for their own good, I think. Um, but just like that, the Seeker has taken care of the last neck. Um, and it was surprisingly close. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and clean up and reset and get on to the next one. All right. Now for the last matchup here, um, we have a Diverger team. Um, and as you guys know, I think these are probably the toughest enemy in the game if you're thinking about sheer damage output. Um, these guys can, uh, can certainly throw hands. So I have about eight of them spawned here. Now against these eight Vergers, um, I'm going to go ahead and spawn 1,000 normal necks. Now hopefully this doesn't crash my game. All right, let's see. It's a lot of necks. It's a lot of necks. So, so far, it looks like it's not even a challenge for the burgers. Just like that, they have reduced 1,000 neck to just three in seconds. But it looks like the burgers came out with minimal damage sustained here, and that was 1,000 necks. Now, to be fair, it was 1,000 normal necks. Um, so now let's go ahead and crank it up here, and we're gonna spawn 1,000 two-star necks. And with that, it does look like the Vergers have been uh, have been smothered here. Um, that was not a fair fight, it looks like. Um, so really quick, I am gonna try to spawn in a few more Vergers here, see if we can get it a little bit more fair. All right, so we went ahead and spawned in three more of every single Verger, um, and they have a little bit more distance from the other neck, so hopefully that gives them a slight advantage here.
Uh, so it looks like they have about half the necks down here. Let's see if they can take care of the rest. It looks like there's a few scragglers remaining here. And uh, just like that, the Vergers have come out on top again here. This time around, we did have 12 Vergers, so that definitely helped the additional, you know, four here that we spawned in. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a team of Verger mages can take down 1,000 necks. Um, so with that battle done and over with, um, it looks like we've actually made it to the end of today's video. So if you guys liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, might as well subscribe. Also, let me know in the comment sections down below what pairings and matchup you guys would like to see for future videos. Um, your guys' input is really useful to the channel here, um, and I do really appreciate it, so be sure to leave a comment down below. But with all that said, I've been Mandy the Mage, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.